as a seller, um, putting my house on the market, yeah. are there things that you recommend that sellers do just like as maintenance things to get their house ready, make sure that things look good and they're ready to go and up to yeah. par? Yeah, good point. It's not pass fail, right? which you know, mm-hmm. but I think that's good for people to know. It really is about here's all the concerns and you get to pick what's important to you. I mean, we'll talk through it. As far as seller preparation, absolutely. I, I always tell people the two biggest things you can do to protect your home are gutters and grading. So gutters means keep those gutters clean. If you want leaf guards, that's great. But then even every once in a while, check on those. Mm -hmm. Make sure the downspouts are extended down all the way and then away from the home at least six feet. And then make sure that all the dirt or the concrete or whatever surrounds your house wants to make things run away. And if you can, you know, and that's a good maintenance tip for everybody. Mm -hmm. But if you're coming to sell your house and you can get those gutters clean and you can just make sure, I mean, you'll see a host less of water concerns. Or, you know, you might have minor water in the basement that I think is minor, but a buyer is like... (gasps) There's water in the basement. Exactly. And maybe if you'd just thrown a little dirt around your foundation and made sure your gutter extensions went further, Mm -hmm. no water during the showing. I think change your furnace filters, you Mm -hmm. know, clean out things that people, you know, clean your oven. I don't care as a home inspector at all. Yeah. But buyers, I seem to be really grossed out when ovens aren't clean. It is kind of gross. So, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one, I think, is fun, one that kind of shocks me yeah. a lot during home inspections. People are like, oh, I didn't clean the oven. And I'm like, well, clean your oven. <laughs>